<laughs> so, uh, yeah, Bethesda. Noah, do you want to open up this for us? Because it's your topic. Sure, give me a second to go away from my mic to make this dramatic. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fucking Bethesda! Thank you. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, Bethesda. Uh, Bethesda fucked up. Bethesda fucked up twice. Bethesda fucked up three times. They're continuing to fuck up. It's a nightmare. Uh, should we? Yeah, we should probably explain what the hell this is. People know what this is. Fallout 76 was released to rave critical reviews, and by that I mean maybe a 40% on Metacritic. I gotta go, go double check the actual score. But people hate the shit out of it. It's not a very good game. It's not well designed. It's been rushed out the door. And it's been suggested at this point, uh, more recent news, it might have been rushed out six months early for Christmas. Isn't it? Because isn't it like yeah. online like only though? And oh yeah, still... maybe, maybe maybe I should explain. Uh, yeah, so Fallout yeah. 76, the idea behind it is uh, you are one of the first people let out of a vault in the Fallout universe and you're trying to fix West Virginia and shit. And it's like, okay, so everyone in the game world is a real person as per the marketing. But that really means they didn't put the effort in to animate NPCs doing things. So everyone you find is either a human player playing a human person or is a robot or a recording or a corpse with a recording next to it or maybe some combination of these things the point is that there are no npcs basically right at least in the traditional sense and players are encouraged to turn this into a sandbox of sorts problem is that the game is not designed to be a sandbox wasn't it supposed to be like like a like a fortnite like a battle royale type of uh nope game oh ooh, this is the fun part uh so y there is pvp yeah. In air, in air quotes. Mm -hmm. They were worried about people doing what people do in DayZ all the time in other games like it, where you drop into the map, you start doing your RPG stuff, leveling up and whatnot. And people still and, and some motherfucker shoots you. Okay, well, you know what they end up doing? What? You do about f maybe, at max, 5% of your potential damage per hit until they shoot back. Then you have PvP happen. So you know what, more, mo what most people do? What? They don't shoot each other. They just go, okay, guess some guy's, like, poking me in the back with a shotgun at close range, and it's doing no damage. I'm just going to ignore him until he goes away. You can literally heal faster than somebody can damage you, unless you decide to reciprocate. And why would you do that? Because you could, potential, you could potentially be marked as a bandit. You could be killed. Or I mean, kill you. And I mean, there's no guess, real benefit to doing so. I mean, that's kind of a good thing, though. Like, I feel like... <clears throat> like it was like kind of like a step in the right direction but it seems like it just seems like Bethesda's kind of been all over the place like they they're still using the fucking creative engine from like 7 years ago. Yep. Oh yeah. They're like, using a modified version of the Gamebryo engine which has been around for about a decade. Yeah. Meanwhile, they've I been using the shit for Oblivion. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense shit. It would it would it it doesn't surprise me that Bethesda is still using a seven-year-old engine, seeing as how they're trying to they keep on porting a seven-year-old game everywhere. Oh, no, no, no. Here's the problem. It's not a seven-year-old engine. I know that game engines are nuanced, and parts of them get updated over time, so it's not like it's literally the exact same engine, but the base functions of the engine are from around, I want to say, someone correct me if I'm wrong, 2004? Oh, really? so, so it goes back. It's fucking further. old. That's it goes back further. seventeen. Like, no, that's like thirteen years. Fucking Elder Scrolls. Fourteen years. Three Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind ran on this engine. Oh, so that so it's kind of like they're like in the same like spot as uh, Telltale. It's, oh, it's worse. <laughs> yeah, but Telltale yeah. is uh, All right. They're they're a long Elder tail Ring. gone. Yeah, they don't have a Skyrim. Like that. That's like. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. It's like so. They, they had a Skyrim, it was The Walking Dead, but, like, right. I, you can only do The Walking Dead up to a point. Yeah, yeah. even a AMC's learning that. <laughs> a little bit. But, yeah, more on track for Bethesda, though. Um, their engine's old. The game is basically a bolted-together multiplayer mod for Fallout 4. And I know it's not, again, not literally that, but in function, it basically acts like that. Uh, they replaced VATS with, because this is a real-time game, and like we tried telling our parents back in the day, you can't pause online games, mom. Uh, so, you know what they did with VATS? It doesn't stop time. Instead, it's an auto-aim. It's an aimbot. Oh. That's it. That's it. And so... Can we uh, get that you for can... Discord? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and no, it's okay. Uh, 
what else? Uh, there is building in the game, but your your settlement disappears if you happen to log off and then hop onto another server by accident when you log in next time where someone happens to have a settlement close to where yours would be. So it just kind of poops out of existence and you have to build it again. You can set up blueprints so you could rebuild the stuff faster, but it's kind of a weird thing to have what's build as a persistent game world that really isn't. Uh, so building doesn't really have a lot of weight to it. It doesn't matter. Uh, in fact, people get so pissed off about other people ransacking their shit that uh, I've seen screenshots of people building settlements off the ground where they shouldn't be able to, according to the game's rules, like inside of uh, power lines and shit. It's hilarious. Oh, uh, but no, what about if you bought the deluxe edition? Wouldn't that like come with like, you know, Ooh. some goodies to kind of help you, you know, go further along the way, you know? Are you trying to give me a segue? Because you're giving me a segue. <laughs> I'm, a I'm asking you, man. Hey, this is your topic. <laughs> you, you're, you're pretending to know nothing about this. <laughs> <laughs> about this. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, pl I don't play video games. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yeah. The, ba <sighs> the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition, as many people have heard at this point, was supposed to come with a bunch of little goodies, including a helmet, uh, kind of styled after the... Fuck, I don't know, Fallout. <laughs> they, can we get so, Skyrim condoms with that? No, you can't. I, mean, I don't think they... Hey, they might port it over there, port it over to the sex bots. Like, yo. You could avoid you making You wanna fuck dragon a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, many people would, apparently, so... There you go, you gotta mark it. Right. Oh, uh, I love anime. Go, go to Dragon's Fucking Cars on Reddit. I love anyway. anime. <laughs> or, alternatively, if you're not into that, Cars Fucking Dragons. In any case, you get a you get a kick-ass Power Armor helmet uh, as a goodie. <laughs> you get a copy of the game with the Power Armor Edition. And you're also, as advertised, you're supposed to get a canvas bag. A canvas bag is not a canvas bag. They lied. It's, it's nylon. nylon. It's yeah. some crappy material. Uh, I actually... You're uh, basically to... just getting fucking uh, stockings, right? <laughs> Not even like I went to com or I didn't go to Comic Con this time around, but I went to some of the surrounding little things that were going on, including some of the anime side things that were happening just down the street. And there, I got a free bag. I got four free bags. I have them in my closet. They're made of the same material. They're garbage. They're just kind of little things you throw away at cons. So to hand people a duffel bag made out of this stuff is like, come on. How much were they charging for that, John? By the way, I don't remember. You, do you remember? It, it's a deluxe edition, so like it's it, it's probably a hundred something. Yeah, it was like something around two hundred bucks. Hold on. I'm we have uh, you know, dang, so something in the seven minute range here. <laughs> Imagine getting paid paying two hundred dollars for a shitty game and a giant ass fucking like wave cap. Like, oh God, and then right? it just gets worse. <laughs> it just gets so much worse. It's one hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It was two hundred. Wow. And you know people are fucking taking that shit and upselling it too. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here, here here's you a fun thing, thing by the way. Uh, yeah. Amazon lists it as uh, it lists its platform as Windows eight. I'm a little confused. <laughs> I mean, it but, could run on fucking Windows XP at this point. Yeah. yeah. I mean. It even says on Amazon about the product, full-scale, wearable, T-51 power armor helmet with West Tech canvas carrying bag. Wearable. Uh, it's a canvas. Yes. Yeah. Canvas. In all of their promotional material, including the pictures of it, you'll see that it's a canvas bag. It's very clear what it is. Uh, it does have some other shit, too, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, and then, like, even if, like, you... You know, if by chance you happen to be one of these, you know, unfortunate people, I, I'd say victims of this or whatever. But <clears> we're in a capitalist country, so I don't know about that. They, your information is up. Like, Ooh, all the yeah. information is leaked. Yeah. 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 Everybody, everybody who tried to send in a proof of purchase to get their actual canvas bag, because they, after a day or two of people screaming about it, went, okay, fuck it, fuck it, we'll make your canvas bags, sure. Uh, people started logging into the ticket system to check on their orders to see if they were getting their canvas bag instead of the crap that they got instead, and found that they could see other people's tickets. Right. Just, boom, admin access. Christ. Like, oh, hey, yeah, do you, like, hey, I'm on the list of giant fucking idiots. Do you want to scam me? Here's my address. <laughs> it gets worse when, like, apparently the people could, like, change and cancel orders 
and they could see as much they could see phone numbers addresses names and the type of card used yeah All, the only thing they couldn't see was card number right but like at some point you put that's not always piece something together yeah shit on it like the address name like you you like you know you don't need too much <laughs> look if that. i hear if i hear jonathan noah mendez uh was caught stealing from a bank yesterday I'll know my card info was stolen or something. <laughs> it's like, hmm, yeah. that sounds a lot like me. <laughs> oh, so in other words, you wouldn't be surprised if you did it. <laughs> anyway. But no, like, I I am frustrated at how this has gone, not just because it's one of those things where you can easily look at this and go, what the fuck are you doing, Bethesda? And just everyone's mad at them. No one's defending them. Even the people who are like, oh, the game's okay. Even they're just like, okay, yeah, this is pretty fucked up. I don't know what's going to happen at this point because they're trying to fix everything, but every time they fix something, something else explodes. I, I know what's going to happen. They're going to port Skyrim to the 3DS, and then we're all going to forget about it. Oh, God. To, <laughs> you know what they should wait, do? Wait. They should port Skyrim to fucking Fallout 76. <laughs> oh, oh, but John, they already have. Oh, yeah, do because you... of the track kids. The reskinned yeah. final boss is just a Skyrim dragon. It's wow. just a Skyrim dragon. It's literally Alduin. All of Alduin's animations are present. Like, if you go through the source oh code of God. this game, mm. it has animations from fucking Skyrim, wow. from Fallout 4, I think from Fallout 3 as well. Oh, yeah. It's just all reused animations. There's almost nothing original. I'm actually pretty sure there's some shit from uh, Fallout New Vegas there, too. I can't say so. It's like an online-only game, so it's like there's no NPCs. Like, they're mm. really... This was kind of just more or less, like... Like, I, like, it's kind of, like, trying to tie in with, like, you know, like, they're trying to get their own, like, not necessarily Battle Royale, but kind of, like, like, they're kind of into that, like, online-only Battle Royale-esque, like, Minecraft kind of thing. I That's just, thing I just wouldn't pay 60 fucking dollars for it. Same here. I wouldn't pay 30. I wouldn't pay anything. I actually don't, I don't like the premise. Partially because it feels like they're, I, so many people have said this already, I feel like I'm just repeating it. They're trying to appeal to everybody, and yet they don't, they don't do any of it right. And so you end up with a game that nobody wants to play. The only person I know who owns the game is playing it ironically. Because they want to see how fucked up the game gets as they play. And they're getting their money's worth, I'm sure. Hopefully. I mean, if you bought the game, at what point is it ironic? Have you seen the um, video about the dude who like returned his Fallout 76 at GameStop? <laughs> I don't know, know what happened. Basically, <laughs> like this dude, like returned. He bought Fallout seventy six at GameStop, and it was like, and he, and he bought it, and he wanted to return it like the day after. And yeah. so they're like, the dude's like telling him like, "Hey, look, you know, we can only give you store credit. Like, you can't get a full refund." Whoa. And he's just like, "Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Like, you know, like I'm just I'm gonna process it." And he's kind of just like, "I just want my fucking money." And so, like, he, he then, like, um, after that, he, like, fucking, go, like, kicks down a bunch of shit in the store and then leaves. And the, and the GameStop worker is kind of just, like, he, he ironically picks up a phone call. It's like, oh, hello, this is GameStop. How may I help you? And it's just, like, it's like, <laughs> wow. like yeah, imagine buying, like, a game and then, like, like, you know, you can't even get your fucking full money back. Yeah. Then again, did you hear about fucking Bethesda's refund policy? nonsense oh sorry oh sorry they, uh please enlighten us i actually don't know i'm pretty sure this. they launched this game on a separate system like a Shit, separate from right. steam the refund policy is there's no refund policy <laughs> of course seriously I'll there's no refund mind. policy yeah caveat it pissed four. off so many fucking people i don't know if they've changed it since then but it's just so fucking shitty <laughs> It's like, we know this game is bad, but we right. want your money anyway. Ba yeah, basically, it's kind of just like, yeah, we're not... We, we, it's kind of like they already know, like, yeah, we know this is trash. You're not getting your fucking and money. And there's back. also the day one release was so bad. Like, people refused to stream the game the first week because it was just like... it. There was some issues that, like, gave streamers info out or something like that. Oh, shit. I had heard about that. I'm not surprised they gave out the fucking Legendary Editions info out, so... God damn. Because like, they probably had to send like send them like a review copy, right? Yeah. So that's probably why. I hope Bethesda isn't your god, anyone watching this stream, because uh, if they are, they've fallen. They've yeah. fallen very hard, just like most game companies will. Yeah, and someone's going to steal your fucking credit card. Yep. <laughs> or your well, parents' credit card, or, or whoever's. My, yeah. my mom pays for everything. I can't yeah. say that. 
I was about to say goodbye to those pizza rolls. So I did. About to get a real light. <laughs> and to end on that topic, fucking Todd Howard. I hope you guys like Steven Universe. Anyway. No. All right. So yeah, uh, fuck Bethesda. Well, not fuck Bethesda, but like Bethesda. I don't know. Fuck Bethesda. Bethesda. <laughs> I think you were pretty right there. <laughs> if if the, if they if if Bethesda comes to comes to us with the bag and it's like we need like they they like 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 No Man's Skying it, so it's like they got we got the new version out. We need you to play this. We'll give you a bag if you just you know stream it. Are you streaming? <laughs> For a bag? Yeah. No. Yeah. They, like, if they, it, they if it, they if they fucking pay for the stream, that's what I'm saying. It's like the bag. Like oh no no no. no. I, I'm talking. I'm talking like. No, no, no. Well, the bag. Oh, money. I see. I see what you. That's mean what, like, yeah. See, the thing is, that we were talking about a fucking yeah, nylon bag. Yeah, I should have said they're giving you a, a nylon. No, if they're, if they're a giving nylon me... bag with some money in it. No, if they if they're, if, they're, like, you know, yeah. if they're handing over a couple, you know, some money maybe. Yeah. Hey Bethesda, you want us to stop saying shit about you? Run we'll play bag. your game for money and still say shit about you because you can pay me and I'll still fucking say shit about you. Yeah, g- give me hey. the, you can give me the nylon bag, just don't let the money fall out. <laughs> <laughs> At least I could say that No Man's Sky got better over time. This just is becoming a bigger train wreck as it goes. That's true.